guys! Welcome back to my channel and this is part 2 of answering your questions about internships. So if you want to find out the rest of the answers to your questions, then keep on watching. <laughs> Next, okay. See, who are your profs? <laughs> who is the ones teaching you? 80% of them are the same profs had when we were in third year or in second year. Yeah. Depending on the subject matter they're teaching. So now for Ima, we have had Ma'am Sadang before and then we have different lab profs also. But mostly same lab as in same people who got in the concept we encountered when you were in your labor class. But also, so Fourth year, so this internship, you have new subjects like um, the age and more bio than it. So, this is you can, oh yeah, you can keep them. So, depending on uh, block, like you can you get the block that you had before, but for example, to keep age in our block, you have a different block that you've never met before. So, you can get it. So, do you submit anything to the hospital mismo? Or is it like you're just submitting everything to USD for it? USD has a platform for that. We have Blackboard to submit all our requirements. There is never... directly sa hospital. Yeah. But more on directly sa clinical instructors namin, which are profs nga rin of USD. So, Pan, so, ano yung use ng pag-assign sa different hospitals? Pa? Affiliation niya. Yeah. Well, parang... well, clinical instructors have connections sa assigned hospitals na amin. So, in our case, we have orientation sa laboratory ng assigned hospitals sa amin. So, we get to see the equipment na nasa laboratory na yun. For example, ako sa USDH ako. So, I got... I got to see the mga machines used in normal duty. Ayun, I guess that's the only thing. Kasi in the normal setting, yung yung hospital staff yung yung gagawa ng end of rotation exams. But then ngayon, yung clinical instructors na lang. At saka ano rin siguro, since marami rin kami sa batch, para at least, kasi per block, iba-iba yung mga clinical instructors, so siguro para rin, mas mabilisan sila i-monitor yung students, kasi so, lahat sabay-sabay, dalawang, okay. or ilan-ilan yung mga 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 there is a question here na did you get to experience any puncture? Pero yun nga, since online, I must go may no. So, palitan ko na lang yung question. Do you miss parang experiencing or practicing stuff like that? Yung mga any puncture or um, let's say yung mga ginagawa niya sa lab before, yung mga paggawa ng agar, speaking, ganon. Yeah, super. For sure. Yeah, so, oh, 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 sobra. Sobra. Sobra talaga. <laughs> Iba na kasi, it, it, it's a skill na not everyone is taught. Diba? So, the fact na yeah. ikaw mismo yung gumagawa ng agar, ikaw mismo yung nagsisik ng ano, ikaw mismo yung gumagawa, it's a different experience for everyone. Some people find it hard. Some people find it easy. Diba? Yeah, super super nakakamiss. It, it takes a lot of practice get used to. But then it's definitely something you miss after like a year. During the pandemic talaga, hindi ka makapractice, hindi ka makapastreak. Unless trip mo sa bahay mo. <laughs> and then mo yung mga pamilya mo. Okay. Pero iba pa rin kasi pag duty, diba? Mm-mm. Yeah. Di ba, kung nag-duty kayo, parang you even you parang have no, photos pa. Yung, ano yun? Parang you get blood for transfusion. Yeah. 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 Sabi na lang, mahirap daw. Yeah. There, there are blood types in hospital, depending on where you're assigned. Okay. So, we're all 
almost done. Last two questions. So, do you think we can acquire the skills we need through online internship? No, I don't think. I don't think you can. I mean, ayun nga, as you said. Yeah, but then more on kapag ka online internship, you you get to focus on your reading skills. More on the knowledge part ng medical tech technology yung map practice mo or yung mahuhon mo talaga pero yung part na you get to apply yung talagang the real thing that you're gonna do inside the laboratory you won't be able to I mean it's obvious naman na you won't be able to do it talaga and to train for it while doing online internship it, for me it's very difficult because you have to visualize the skills you acquired no third year so For me, kasi different talaga siya ngayon. So, yan, obviously, ang hindi na pwede. Kailangan na sa'yo. Diba pa rin pag, kapag on the spot na nandun ka na sa situation na kung anong gagawin mo, kung ano yung dapat next step or, or such. But then also, pala, we experience, ay, sorry, sige, go. <laughs> sorry, sorry, go, 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 go. And then, here, parang, Yeah, for example, the videos na video ko, na they let us watch. It's still in this, ano, parang perfect setup na you won't know what will, what, eh? ano yung mali na mangyayari, ganon. Pero yeah. pag, if you're inside the actual laboratory talaga, that's when the real prob- problems arise, you know, that's when True, yung true, true. real, real world. Yeah, kapag nade-demerit ka, di ba, syempre, that's where, where you learn. But in this case, it's a little bit more. Well, may nade-demerit pa rin ba kahit online? No. Wala. Kasi they won't know rin naman like the errors na yung hindi ko nyari. Yung mga activities namin, we had like activities na yung hindi ko nyari. Nagawa ko ng mga agar and stuff. So, mm. Microbiology. Kung nagkamali ka naman doon, you can just press the yeah, restart or something. Mm-hmm. Pero pag after, it will affect a lot talaga. Yeah. Okay. Yung last question is, ano, medyo related siya sa so, question that I just asked. So, do you think it prepares you enough for actual RMT work? Yung ano, hindi no. nyo ngayon. No, no, no. Concept I don't, I mean, ko- oh, concept-wise, sige. <laughs> okay, sige, push natin yun. There's I feel like, like mas napaprepare kami for boards more than the actual RMT work. Kasi, yeah, exactly. Kasi, for actual RMT work, you need talaga to have experience in the lab. So, pero kung boards mm-hmm. we have knowledge naman we can we it's acquire it's acquirable so. <laughs> I mean yun nga as I've said hindi talag hindi talaga mapapantay yung face to face na ano na I think it it goes for everyone not only sa mga pre med related courses or medical related courses and such it won't really prepare you for the real world kasi nga everything's online you won't really know how it feels or You know, yung talagang nandun yung adrenaline na you're there in the moment. You won't, you won't really be prepared for that. So, but given the it, situation, I think this is like the most now we can have. So, thankful, thankful for nothing. Oh, to be honest, privilege enough na rin tayo to experience this kind of. Uh, yung, yun nga, education. But at the same time, hindi rin siya, you know, yung talagang, if you're going to ask us is, we're ready na ba talaga to like, work, work, work? I don't think, you know, sobrang, I doubt na I'm ready to work for, in a hospital, or in anywhere. <laughs> But yeah. So, um, siguro the last thing I'll ask is, do you have like, any thing Do you want to say anything to like yung mga incoming interns now na let's say if hindi pa rin magkaroon ng face to face or if you wanna tell them tips or parang any advice for online internship? Have a good support. Yun talaga. When you have a 
That's good true. support. No matter how how hard you think it is, or no matter like there are times talaga na tatamarin ka, tatamarin ka talaga. Kasi laging pareho na lang ginagawa mo, laging kano ba, laging magigrade ka na naman ng paper. But then once you have that support team with you, will tell you to do this at this time on this day. You'll really be able to accomplish a lot of stuff. Kahit madaldal kayo na at, di ba? Yeah. I wanna tell the third year students that I- I'm proud of them. Because I really yeah. can't imagine doing the third year workload online. I know, lalo na pag mag-lab na. Hello, kayo mag-lab. To do everything alone in your house without your friends. So, and and my tip is to enjoy the I know, the discussions sa third year. Because it's really important to have really enough knowledge then. You'll, you'll need it. Okay, for me, um, I won't. I mean, obvious naman ata na I won't sugar ko na madilang siya kasi nga online. So parang you know everything's there, everything's given and such. Tapos you're just going to have to comply. But at the same time, kasi ikaw din yung mat. I mean, ikaw talaga yung challenge not only physically but also mentally, emotionally, lahat lahat na. So I suggest na talagang you um parang make this make your own schedule make your own you know really just think about what will happen if hindi ka talaga naghanda or hindi kasi um tawag dito the resources na meron ka lang or your books your laptop your the internet so parang just time management talaga is really important kasi kahit ako hirap na hirap din naman i mean kahit i mean kaming lahat hirap na hirap with time management so i guess you just have to really not give up because that's what's happening right now eh. Cause with this hindi lang siya with the akad problem hindi lang siya with it being online because you're inside your house you can't go out you can't see your friends you can't do anything so i guess ikaw mismo you have to wait for yourself to motivate yourself you have to be strong for yourself have faith in yourself and everything i think if you have all of that it will yun na yun you're gonna Things will unfold and things will be better. Yeah. Oh, you know, siguro, yeah. Ayun, there are days that you have to force yourself to get out of bed and do the activities you have to do. But at the same time, you have to remind yourself that it's okay to take a break, to stop working, mm. to rest your mind. Because it's so important if you tire yourself out too much, it won't be good for yourself then so staying at home also means uh, taking care of yourself. So, I guess. So, I know, I want to add na never hesitate to ask us questions. Yeah. Like, we're, we're all a message away. If you need reviewers, if you need... We're going to go. Yeah, we're going to reviewers, yes. I'll give you all. Just message me. that all the time to take it if there, there if there's a day for them na di talaga like I can't work okay sige go face yourself then once kaya mo na go and then pray also true pray a lot pray a lot <laughs> talaga <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for doing this video, not only for me, but also for all the third-year students out there who are gonna have their internship. So, 
If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, ayun nga, give it a thumbs up. Ba't kayo nulit? Wait lang. Um, <laughs> ah, okay. Never forget. There's, there's nothing to it. What to do it? <laughs> See you guys in the next video. <laughs>